Not so close, not so close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Yes, sir. Yeah, we're ready to go. Mike Gonzalez, Jimmy G's son and drummer for the Grupo Maz, Jimmy G. Man, how's it going, Mike? Good, man. Good. Hanging in there. I mean, it's been a while since your uh, your jefito passed away, man. Ya tiene más que un año, no? June the 6th. June the 6th? June the 6th is his anniversary. Wow, man. How does it feel to be a year without your jefe, man? Um, it's still numb. You know See? what I mean? It feels like it just happened. I'm actually still thinking it's a bad dream. Uh-huh. I'm going to wake up and orale. we're back to going on the road and, you know what I mean, barbecuing. And See? So... Yeah, you and your dad were pretty close, no? Yeah. 20 años, right? Sí. ¿Qué tantos años tenías cuando comenzaste a vender la batería con él, dad? With him, um, I was 20. 20? 20. Wow. And how old are you now? 42. 22 years, man. Well, 21 years. 21 right? years. Yeah. Adolfo was, uh, he uh, was the original. Uh, Adolfo, the t-shirt guy. Right? Yeah. He used to make yeah, t-shirts, yeah. man. And yeah. he was one of the original guys from Grupo was, Mas back in the, the early original. 80s. And I remember Studio 4 in Hardingen, man. I, yeah, yeah, I went, uh, you know, once yes, uh, every two months, I put I Yeah. Man, that, that, that guy, Adolfo, is, well, he's my uncle. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? He's married to your, uh, to Jimmy's sister, right? To Jimmy's sister, yeah, Cindy. Yeah, I remember her too. Hi, Cindy, how you doing? Yes, sir. So, uh, the Chavalo, I would go to soundcheck. Mm-hmm. I would go and, you know. Y me sentaba y lo, man, I would study that man. Yeah. Porque era una máquina, you know what sí, I mean? Yeah. I mean, nothing flashy, nothing. It was just yeah. timing, you know? Uh-huh. So, um, when, when the band broke up, he did, man, I, I, w- I wouldn't be able to tell you how long he started with, with my dad, and then I came in. I see. You know, he did, he decided to retire and whatnot, and, you know, so, but 20 años me tiré con él. Orale. Oh, yeah, so you were, you were, what year were you born, man? In the late 70s? 76. 76? Yes, sir. Bicentennial, baby. Era ya that ves. Too. Yeah. ¿Y tu jefita <laughs> vive en Brownsville o qué? My jefita lives in, in Brownsville right now. Y, este, cuando naciste tú, uh, Jimmy y tu jefita estaban juntos y tenían casa y todo era como yeah. familia? Yes. And, and which one are you? Because how many brothers are you? Somos cinco. Cinco? Yeah, I'm the third one. The third one. The oldest one is Henry. It's Henry. And then luego Junebug. Uh-huh. And then sigo yo, uh-huh. Choche, and Euchre. Puros boys. Puros boys. Damn. Imagínate <laughs> the neighborhood. We didn't need friends. We didn't need, we, we had it. And in your dad's case, you know, when you all have, when you have a lot of uh, puros hombres, uh, this is, uh, you have a baseball team, but in your dad's case, <laughs> you had a band, dude. Yeah. <laughs> It was like that, wow. man. I mean, si había, if there was anything going on in the neighborhood, eran the Gonzalez's. Mm-hmm. Dirt bikes, see four wheelers, and yeah. this madre, right? I never knew that uh, that part about Jimmy, you know, his family life, you know. I mean, he was born in Brownsville, I know that, and he was born in Queda de la South Mose, donde that? He was right there on, uh, like around the downtown area, mm-hmm. by the... Donde hacen el, uh, f- la fiesta sombrero fest Andale. in that area? And that, like, he sí. was in, in that area, so. Yeah. But. Estaba más concentrated antes Brownsville, no? Yeah, Back pues estaba más chavalo. How old was your dad when he, when he passed away? It was like 69, 68? 68. 68. 68. Hey, so he was from la, like 50, 55. 50. 50, 50. Yeah. Yeah, 50 por 68. Yeah, 50. Yeah, y Brownsville estaba más concentrado. Back yeah. then, all right, está chingón. Yeah, all right. All right. People. Yeah, it's everywhere now. And then uh, your jefito started playing music at what age, man? Do you know? Man, I don't, I've heard that the band started in 78. Because I remember hearing some music with you know, Joey, so. Jimmy, y Joe también con Los Fabulosos Cuatro, right. one album. Right. And then uh, I think the first time I ever heard Joe and Jimmy and Maz was like in 1980, 81, man. When yeah, I, yeah. Cuando tenían um, Ayer y Hoy, yeah. uh, which was like Pero a disco, disco song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yo me curé con el bass en esa rola, Beto. Juan Murillo está desgraciado, Beto. Yes, sir. That bass has always blown me away on that song, man. <laughs> Para 
<risa> yeah, pues nosotros somos como músicos o cuando escuchamos música, you know, estamos escuchando los instrumentos we, we y dissect. todo. Yeah, we oh, dissect yeah. it, es lo yeah. que hacemos, yeah. ¿entiendes? So, your jefito started probably más around 1980, I guess, because Joe and... Y Joe y, G y Jimmy se conocían desde los 70s. Desde la, yeah, desde la escuela. I mean, they were, they were best friends, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They were... So, they, they started... They, I believe they were playing in different, like, local bands. Mm -hmm. And little by little, se, they ended up together. Sí. And they were like, orale, we're going to form a band. Yeah. And... Yeah, porque los fabulosos cuatro eran de acá de McAllen y yo era de allá de Brownsville, so I would imagine that, you know, it was kind of a drive, una hora y quince minutos o casi una hora, ¿verdad? Yeah. Para ir a Brownsville de aquí a de McAllen, pero pues uh, I guess when Joe and Jimmy got together, man, that's when it really started, man, yeah, in 1979. And it, and it took off, man. See, bro. Back in that, I'm telling you, I would go to sound checks and go to the shows, you know, y estaba la gente rock, I mean, unbelievable. I was like, So yeah. your mom would go to the shows and take you. No, kids no, no. Porque, porque as we were as we were growing up, we would hardly see my dad uh -huh. because he was always out on the road. See. Sí. So when they would play here in the valley, pues he would pick us up and take us. Uh -huh. You know, and uh, que I'm playing in McAllen at the Via Real. Orale. we'd go to the Embassy Suites and he'd get us a room and have he'd have a guy like, hey, you take care of my kids, you get them to the show, blah blah blah, mm -hmm. etc. You know. How old were you when you first started going to this? Because in 1980, when they started, you were four years old. Yeah, right? no, no, no. I, I was. Yeah. I started going to the shows when I was eight years old, nine years old. Uh huh. You know what I mean? Little kids. I mean, Nin 1984, yeah, 85. around yeah. there. The, they still hadn't really hit the big time like the 90s yet. Right. It was But going. They were going there. Starting, they were you going. know what I mean? But yeah. they were probably still making the same. Uh, they were probably the most popular Tejano band right. out there besides Little Joe and, you know. Right, the, the and, old school. Yeah, the yeah, old school guys, you know. Ruben Ramos and all that. But, yeah, it was it was amazing. You know what I mean? It was It's a lot of memories. It's a lot of, it's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. I love it. 